My name is Tepeje Kelsey Richard. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I share a video, you'll be the first to receive it. Today our discussion on calculus will be on differentiation of trigonometric functions. But before we start, I'd like to revise your knowledge on tricks. On so remember the basic trick with the identities we have is sum. So we can raise the sum to another x, then cos to another x. That are the two basic. Remember we have tan, tan x. So remember we said tan x is sum x over cos x. That's from trig actually. There is a video on trig, trigonometry. So please check my YouTube channel, the page of Kepsi Richie. You will get it. Now we have other trig identities like sec, sec s. And remember we said sec s, sec is just the inverse of cos. So sec s is one over cos s. Now we have another identity which is cot x, cot to another x. And we say cot is the inverse of tan. That will be 1 over tan x. And remember we say this can be cos s over sin x. Because this is the inverse. If so, we can say cot s, so tan s is sin s over cos s. So to reverse this, we say this is 1 times cos s over sin s. So finally we can get cos s over sin s. So cot in terms of sin and cos will be cos s over sin s. Or the inverse of the inverse of uh, tan. Another identity which you must you must know, but you may forget is cosec. Cosec, eh. cosec is the inverse, is the inverse of sine. So we say cosec s is one over sine s. Cosec s is one over sine. Please, if you know these basic trick identities, then what you are coming to will now be a problem. So come with me. So, with that basic knowledge, we can be able to differentiate trig functions. So, we we'll learn how to differentiate all of them sine, cos, tan, sec, cot, and cosec. We we'll learn how to differentiate it. And if there is time, we talk about other forms of differentiation of trig functions. So, remember, if we have y is equal to maybe cos s, then our dy over ds will be equal to negative sin s. Very, very important. Take notice of it. If y is, the differential of course is negative sign. Then, if y is equal to sin s, then our dy over ds, that's the differential of y with respect to s, will be equal to the cos s. The differential of cos is negative sin s, but the differential of sin s is cos s. If you have these two basic identities, then any other trick differentiation will not be a problem. Will not be a problem. Now let's try to differentiate tan x. So if let's say we have y is equal to tan s, how do we find the value of the s? There is no need to memorize this. If you know the differential of cos and the differential of uh, sign, then this will not be your problem. It will not be your problem. So, let's look at the differential of tan s. Remember, remember, we said tan s is sin s over cos s. We said tan s is sin s over cos s. Now, remember this is a fraction. So what do we use to differentiate? We use quotient. Quotient rule. 
the page. I have a video on Kushen Group. Please check it at my YouTube channel, KTJ KFC Richard. You will see Kushen Group. However, we use Kushen Group to differentiate this. So, first, what we do? We let U to be equal to sin S. So, and let V to be equal to cos S. So, our du over ds is what? du over ds, if u is sin s, then the differential of u will be cos s. Then our dv over ds will be negative sin s. So what is quotient we say? Quotient we say is that our dy over ds will be equal to v d over ds minus u d v over ds all over v squared all over v squared okay so that is from I mean quotient view now what's our v our v remember it's cos s we said cos s what's du over ds du over ds is cos s so we have cos s now what's our u our u our u is sin s u is sin s what's our dv over ds negative sin s negative all over v squared and what's our v? our v is cos s so cos squared s so we multiply cos s times cos s with cos squared s then negative sin s times negative sin that will be plus sin squared s all over cos squared s so what we have Remember from trick, cos square s plus sine square s is nothing but one. It's one. So we have one all over cos square s. And remember, we said one over cos is sec. So if one over cos is sec, the one over cos square s will be sec square s. So we said that if y is equal to tan s. Then the differential of that, the dy over ds will be equal to c square s. I hope you get that. It will be c square s. Now we'll try to differentiate the rest. Another trick identity for you to get it. Okay, so we differentiated tan s and we look at it. We look at another trick identity if y is equal to c s. What to be the other by the S? Remember, sec is one of our cos. So we can say this is one of our cos S. One of our cos S. We can use uh, what is the name? Quotient rule again to do that, since there is a fraction. So let u to be equal to 1 and v to be equal to cos X. So our du over the s, since this is constant, the differential will be zero. And our dv over the s, remember we said differential of cos is negative sign. Now what we do? We use quotient rule. So our dy over the s will be equal to v du over the s minus u dv over ds all over v squared all over v squared whilst our v in this case is cos s so cos s whilst our d over ds 0 minus whilst our u our u is 1 whilst our dv over ds that will be negative sine all over V squared. 
was a V squared. V is cos. So all over cos square S. So cos S times 0 is 0. And negative 1 times negative sin S, that will be sin S all over cos square so what we have, we can rewrite this as sin s over cos s. You remember this? Yeah, I was all over 1 over cos s. So if this multiply this, we can get sin s. And then if cos s multiply cos s, we get cos square s. Remember, we said sin s over cos s is what? It's tan s. Then 1 over cos s is sec. So it is here. So you can say that our differential there, that was dy over ds, sin s over cos s is sin s. Then 1 over cos s is sec s. So the differential of sec, if y is equal to sec, is then 12 over s. Is tan s sec s. I hope you get that. Yeah. You go over it and you'll be able to understand. It's not anything difficult. So go over it, you, you will get a concept. Okay, so the next one will we'll differentiate if y is equal to cot s. What to be our derivative by s? Remember, in our introduction, we said that cot s is. The inverse of tan, 1 over tan s. And this can be equal to cos s over sin s. Another fraction. So we can use quotient. We can use quotient again. So what we do? We let our u to be equal to cos s and v to be equal to sin s. To be equal to sin s. So let's find the u over ds, u over ds will be negative sin s, then the v over ds will be cos s. So what will be our d over ds from quotients? We v, v u over ds minus u, the v over ds all over v squared, all over v squared. So, what's our V? V is sin S. We can say sin S. What's our D over DS? That's negative sin S minus. What's our U? Our U is cos S. And what's our D V over DS? That's cos S. All over V squared. And what's our V? That will be sin square s. So we polish it. Sin s minus negative sin s. That will be negative sin square s. Then this will be negative cos square s. All over sin square s. Something is common, so we can factor it out. That's the negative. So negative outside. So we we'll level it sine square s plus cos square s all over sine square s so what we have remember sine square s plus cos square s is nothing but one we we'll have negative one all over sine square s remember we said sine square s is all is cosec is cosec s so one of our sine uh, sine one of our sine s is cosec s. So one of our sine square s will be cosec square s. So this will be nothing but negative cosec square s. Therefore, we can conclude that if y is equal to cot s, then the y of the s will be negative cosec square s. I hope you understand this. The next differential I will do with cosec for you to get a concept. So the next one we'll talk about is cosec. Cosec. 
So if y is equal to cosec s, then find the number of years. Remember also we said y, uh, if cosec is the inverse of what? Sun. You can say this is 1 over sin s. Still we are quotient. Quotient rule. We we'll use quotient rule again. So we let our u to be equal to 1 and v to be equal to sin s. Very, very important. So what we do, anytime there is fraction, you can use that. So we find du over ds, the differential of this with respect to s is zero, is constant. Then we find dv over ds. dv over ds here will be called the cos s. Remember. So from chain, uh, from quotient. Our dy over ds will be equal to v du over ds minus u dv over ds all over v squared, all over v squared from quotient. Now what do we do? We just substitute. So what's our v? Our v in this case is sinus. So sinus. What's our d over ds? Zero. Minus. What's our u? Our u is one. And the v over ds is cos s. All of our what's v? V is sinus. So we said sine square s. Now we call it this sine s times zero will be zero. So zero minus negative one minus cos s, that will be minus cos s all over all over what? sine square s over sine square s so we can get zero minus this will be negative cos s over sine square s we can rewrite this as negative cos s over sin s, remember that, times 1 over sin s. So if this multiply this to get our negative cos s, then this will give you sin square s. So remember, cos s over sin s is the inverse, the inverse of tan. And what's the inverse of tan is cos. So we can say negative cos s. Then one bar sin s is for cosec, and this will be cosec s. So we can say our dy over ds is equal to negative cot s cosec s. Negative cot s cosec s. If y is equal to cosec s. So uh, we are able to differentiate all the basic trick identities. So in our next video, we'll try to find, uh, to differentiate other trick identities. Today you realize that we use only quotient throughout. It doesn't mean that we use quotient in trick differentiation. We can use, we can use a chain, we can use a product. So when we we'll meet in our next video, I'll try to take you through that. Now remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that if I post a video, You'll be the first to receive it. God bless us all. Bye-bye.